Welcome to Tutorials Point and in this video we will learn about deferred execution. So what is deferred execution? Link queue like for example we are working with entity framework right. So we use link queue in entity framework and link queue by default uses something called as deferred execution which is completely different from immediate execution. So what is deferred execution and what does it mean? So there is a place when you actually go and define your query and deferred execution means that this query is executed not at the point of declaration but at the point of actually iterating through the query uh, variable you can say. See for example I have a query over here okay so this is my entire set of query. And this is the place where I am defining the query. So basically I am saying uh, I am using the context object to fetch the list of employees and then I am uh, using a where condition to select employees at a certain level and then I am just selecting that employee. So this is the point of query declaration and link you since it follows deferred execution the query will not execute here. Okay. So where does it execute that is question you might be having right. And after this query definition, you may be doing certain other things, you may be going to the database, you may be doing something else, some other logic. There may come finally a point where you may actually go and iterate through the data in the query, right? So that's, that's this point for each loop. So when you iterate through the data, like when you are iterating through the elements, trying to iterate through the elements which are actually defined by a query only then your query will execute okay so it is at this point the query executes not at the point of declaration okay so the opposite to that of uh, deferred execution is immediate execution and by the way the advantages are that uh, if you are having something like deferred execution you can postpone retrieving data at the very last moment so you can be assured of getting the latest and most updated data okay so that's the advantage with deferred execution and i was talking about immediate execution so immediate execution means that query is basically executed at the point of declaration so basically query is executed over here okay and you can force this query the link query to immediately execute by using any function that basically returns a single value for example you can put this entire stuff within a bracket and just say dot sum if you are basically retrieving a single value for example you are retrieving salary or you can say dot average. So anything which returns a single value forces the query to execute at that point in time which is called immediate execution and then if you do not have something that returns value at that point in time or returns a single value single time value what you can do is you can say you can put the entire thing into dot to list okay so that's what uh, i have mentioned over here you can put the entire query and call to list function so that actually forces your query to execute at that point in time making it an immediate execution rather than a deferred execution. So that's all I have about deferred execution. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning.